Dobar dan, dragi učenici, i dobrodošli na online sat iz engleskog jezika. Ova lekcija namenjena je učenicima četvrtog razreda, a tema je Do you like monsters? Moje ime je Helena Gustović-Ljubiš i danas ću biti vaša učiteljica. Na kraju današnjeg sata razumjet ćete dva teksta u prvom i trećem licu, present simple, o zamišljenim likovima. And for today's lesson you will need a notebook, a pencil and any device with internet access. Now it's time to meet the monsters. This is Jeff and his best friend Marty. First, Jeff will tell us something about his day. Listen carefully, because at the end you will have a task. Dobro poslušajte, jer nakon slušanja imate jedan zadatak. I wake up at 7. I have cornflakes and milk for breakfast. I don't watch TV before school. At school, I play football. I don't play tennis. I have a cheese sandwich for lunch. After school, I visit the museum. I don't go shopping. In the evening, I read a book. I love books about animals. I go to bed at 10 o'clock. Now it's time to do the task. Here you have eight sentences. Some of them are true and some of them are false. Please open your notebooks and read the sentences. Put T for true and F for false. You can stop the video now. Dakle, sada ćete napraviti ovaj zadatak. Morate napisati jesu li rečenice. Istinite ili nisu. Number one. I wake up at eight. Number two. I don't watch TV before school. Number three. At school, I play football and table tennis. Number four. I have a yogurt for lunch. Number five. After school, I don't go shopping. Number six. In the evening, I read a book. Number seven. I love books about cars. And the last one, number eight. I go to bed at eight o'clock. Now it's time to check the answers. Number one, I wake up at eight, is false. Number two, I don't watch TV before school, that one's true. Number three, at school I play football and table tennis, it's false. Number four, I have a yogurt for lunch, this is also false. Number five. After school, I don't go shopping. This is one is true. Number six. In the evening, I read a book. It's also true. Number seven. I love books about cars. This one is false. And the last one. I go to bed at eight o'clock. This one is also false. Well done, kids! Now it's time to learn. Kada govorite o svojoj rutini, to je stvarima koje radite tijekom dana, možete koristiti pozitivne rečenice i negativne rečenice. Ovdje imamo primjer. I wake up at 7. Dakle, ja se budim u 7. Kako biste napravili negativnu rečenicu, morate dodati riječ don't. Dakle, I don't wake up at 7. Inače, don't je skraćeni oblik od do not. I drugi primjer nam je I walked the dog before school. Dakle, kako bi napravili negativnu rečenicu, ponovno morate dodati riječ don't. Dakle, I don't walk the dog before school. Now please pause the video and copy this in your notebooks. Molim vas da zaustavite video i prepišete ovu svoju bilježnicu. 
Now it's your turn to tell me something about your day. Dakle, sada ćete sami u svoje bilježnice napisati istinite rečenice o svom danu. Dakle, I have, don't have a TV in my room. Dakle, ja imam ili nemam TV u svojoj sobi. I wake, don't wake up at nine. Ja se budim ili ja se ne budim u devet sati. I love ili don't love animals. Dakle, ja volim ili ne volim životinje. I ride, don't ride my bike to school. Dakle, ja idem u školu biciklom ili ja ne idem u školu biciklom. I brush, don't brush my teeth before school. Ja perem ili ne perem zube prije škole. I read ili don't read books before bed. Znači, ja čitam ili ne čitam knjige prije kreveta, to je spavanje. I zadnja, I play, don't play computer games every day. Dakle, ja igram ili ne igram kompjuterske igrice svaki dan. Good luck with this task. Now it's time to meet Marty, Jeff's best friend. Listen carefully, because at the end you will have a task. Marty wakes up at half past seven. He doesn't have breakfast. He walks the dog before school. At school, he plays volleyball and table tennis. He has a salad for lunch. After school, he doesn't go to the park. He plays with his little sister. He watches TV in the evening. He loves documentaries about planets. He goes to bed at nine o'clock. And now the task. You have to write T for true and F for false. I will read the sentences. Write the answers in your notebooks. Number one. He wakes up at half past seven. Number two. He has breakfast. Number three. He walks the dog before school. Number four. After school, he doesn't go to the park. Number five, he plays with his dog. Number six, in the evening, he reads a book. Number seven, he loves documentaries about planets. Number eight, he goes to bed at nine o'clock. Now it's time to check the answers. Number one, he wakes up at half past seven, is true. Number two, he has breakfast. This one is false. Number three, he walks the dog before school, is true. Number four, after school, he goes to the park. This one is false. Number five, he plays with his dog. This is false. Number six, in the evening, he reads a book. This one is true. Number seven, he loves documentaries about music. You remember? So this is false. And the last one, he goes to bed at nine o'clock. This one is true. Well done, everybody. Dakle, kada pričamo o nečijem danu, opet možemo koristiti pozitivne ili negativne rečenice. Dakle, ovdje imamo nekoliko primjera. He ili she wakes up at seven. Moramo paziti da na kraju glagola imamo slovo s u ovom slučaju. Kada hoćemo napraviti negativnu rečenicu, moramo koristiti riječ doesn't. Doesn't je inače skraćeni oblik od does not. Dakle, negativna rečenica he ili she doesn't wake up. Sljedeći primjer je he ili she walks the dog before school. A negativno he ili she doesn't walk the dog before school. Budite pažljivi. Dakle, na kraju glagola nemamo s. Treći primjer je he ili she 
watches TV in the evening. Ovdje možete primijetiti da smo dodali s. Znači, uz glagole watch ili brush moramo staviti s. A negativna rečenica je he ili she doesn't watch TV in the evening. Ovdje imamo primjer he ili she has breakfast. A negativno će biti he ili she doesn't have. Znači neće biti doesn't has, nego doesn't have breakfast. I zadnji primjer, he ili she plays football. Negativna rečenica je he ili she doesn't play football. Now please pause this video and copy this in your notebooks. Zaustavite video i prepišite ovu u svoje bilježnice. On to our next task. Here you have to write the opposite sentences. U ovom zadatku morate napraviti suprotne rečenice. Dakle, ukoliko je rečenica pozitivna, vi morate napraviti negativnu. Ukoliko je rečenica negativna, morate napraviti pozitivnu. Sada možete zaustaviti video i napraviti ovaj zadatak u svoju bilježnicu. So, number one, he wakes up at seven. Number two, he doesn't walk the dog. Number three, he plays tennis. Number four, he doesn't have a salad. Number five, he watches TV. In number six, he doesn't like books. Let's check. So number one, he wakes up at seven. Negativna rečenica je, he doesn't wake up at seven. Ovdje imamo rečenicu, he doesn't walk the dog. A pozitivna će biti, he walks the dog. Number three, he plays tennis. A negativna će biti, he doesn't play tennis. Number four, he doesn't have a salad. A pozitivna će biti, he has a salad. Number five, he watches TV. A negativna rečenica će biti, he doesn't watch TV. Number six, he doesn't like books. A pozitivna je, he likes books. It's time for a game. Dakle, molim vas da u svoju alatnu traku upišete ovu poveznicu i odigrate igru. Have fun! This is our last task. Meet Ed, Anna and Dan. You will have to write sentences about them. Dakle, vaš zadatak će biti napisati rečenice o Edu, Eni i Dan. Plus označava da je rečenica pozitivna, a minus da je negativna. So, go to the cinema, ići u kino. Visit friends, posjetiti prijatelje. Play computer games, igrati kompjuterske igrice. Watch TV, gledati TV. Go for a walk, ići u šetnju. Wake up early, probuditi se rano. Go shopping, ići u trgovinu. Write text messages, pisati poruke. And listen to music, slušati glazbu. So you have to write five sentences about Ed. Five sentences about Anna. And five sentences about Dan. Sada možete zaustaviti video i vratiti se na tabelu kako biste napravili ovaj zadatak. Have fun! So this is the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. It's time to do self-assessment. Ukoliko možete razumjeti tekst o čudovištima, stavite kvačicu. Ukoliko ne, stavite x -iš. Ako možete uspješno koristiti don't, to jest doesn't, stavite kvačicu. Ako ne, x -iš. Ok, so thank you so much for your time. Till next time, goodbye.